hi guys welcome again to another video thank you for liking sharing and subscribing now today I will be talking to you about spiritual soul ties it's a long overdue video so I'm just gonna get right into it because a lot of people have soul ties spirits and they don't even know they don't even know so they and these spirits get themselves attached to you as a result of some deep uh, connection with someone where you know your soul is knitted to them very deeply and it can be healthy as well as unhealthy now I'm just gonna start out with a classic example from the Bible as usual of Saul and sorry David and Jonathan in the book of in first Samuel chapter 18 the Bible says that the soul of Jonathan was knit to the soul of David and Jonathan loved David as his own soul now that was a healthy soul tie but it is that is where the term soul tie comes from the knit uh, otherwise known as the tying so that is that's how you get soul tie Jonathan's soul was knitted to David's. Now, as I said, that was healthy. There was nothing uh, demonic about that. But unfortunately, right now today, there are so many people who have demonic soul type spirits attached to them. They don't know how they get that, how they got them. Some people are not a, a aware of them, and some people don't even know how to get rid of them if you know if they have it so i'm going to go into it and let you know how everything about how to get rid of them how to identify them and all that now these spirits th there are different ways that you can invite these spirits into your lives some could come through gifts so you have this deep connection with someone and they gave you a gift and for whatever reason that person is no longer in your life and it it really doesn't have to be a spouse it could be a close friend as well so some uh, and, and you get this gift later on you and this person are separated no longer friends or partners and you still have this deep connection to the gift the very fact that you you find it difficult to get rid of this item already shows but one of the main ways that you're going to know that you have like for those who are who that spirit uh entered through the form of a partner an intimate relationship you are going to find that whatever relationship you get yourself in later on it's it's just not working because you can you connected so deeply with this person and through different not just through the gifts but through other things it could uh and and examples of gift it could be a wedding band it could be a bracelet it could be a necklace but you and this person are no longer together and you find it difficult to get rid of this item this person is no longer your friend you're no you're not connected with them in any way at all yet you hang on to that that item that you got from the person not knowing that it is because of a demonic spirit that is also present with you why it is difficult to get rid of the item even though you have nothing to do with this person you probably hate the person yet you cannot get rid of the item and so that is one way how the spirit can enter another way that these spirits can enter your life is is by way of promises or vows or covenants that you made with this person it could be your marriage uh, it could be a married a wedding vow it could be a wedding vow and I'm speaking now particularly of weddings that are not sanctioned by God and also those that were sanctioned by God but unfortunately it ended in separation so that again based on the vow that you made to the person whether it's your marriage vow or some other kind of promise some people say oh 
I will never be able to live without you. If you and I separate, I'll never live without you. Or, or things like, baby, I love you to death. Or there's no one else after you. There's nobody else I will ever want. And we don't know the seriousness of saying those things. If we break, you're telling someone from now, if you break up with them, there is nobody else that will be suitable for you. And you don't know the dangers of doing that. So we have to be careful of the things that we say, the promises and covenants that we get into. I can understand for somebody when you're young, teenagers, a teenager shouldn't be getting into those, you know, relationships. But unfortunately, yes, it happens. But people in their 20s do it too. And some people, we can't, I can't even just say, you know, people who are grown shouldn't do that because many adults do that. 30s, 40s, people do that a lot. We say things that, that, that cause this deep connection, this deep connection with our souls with that person and it's not and i'm not speaking uh, of marriage now other stupid things that we say and we and we don't realize how how dangerous it is for us to say those things or saying oh if i will never be able to live if you and i are no longer together then there is no i, I will not be able to live without you we cannot say those things those things, those statements will cause demonic spirits to enter your life. Next thing you and the person are not friends or together anymore. Next thing you find, you want to commit suicide. All of a sudden you're suicidal. You don't know that it's because of what you said. Remember, we live in a spiritual world. So whether, uh, be, whether you want to believe it or not, the spirits demonic spirits are hearing everything you say and they're always working overtime non-stop they're never tired working for their master satan so be careful what you say be careful of the actions that you take that could cause these spirits to enter your life amen now there's also uh on un uh unforgiveness for some people unforgiveness can call invite demonic soul ties into your life unforgiveness is a serious thing whenever we cut ties with someone a friendship or a, a an intimate relationship we have to learn to forgive if anything went so we need to forgive and let go of that person separate yourself emotionally and, and and separate your soul from that person do not keep holding on to this this thing that caused the breakup or you know do not hold on to it try to let go and forgive just like jesus taught us to forgive because you don't know the dangers in forgive in 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 not in unforgiveness i have seen so many people uh when they're getting deliverances when they go for deliverances and many times the source of their problem is unforgiveness and and they didn't know they didn't know it until it was called out whether by the demon or by the person delivering them so unforgiveness you have to be very cautious of that and try to for, just let just forgive people let them go whatever it is that caused the disagreement between you and them just let them go amen now another way that you can invite soul tie spirits in your life is through fornication which is a number one way because fornication is not sanctioned by god it's all you know the works of the the flesh and so we invite spirits in our in our lives that way soul tie spirits when you connect, you know, you, ha you have your body, you connect with that person on that deep level and your body is the temple of the most high God. And so, yes, you can invite uh, demonic soul tie spirits into your life through fornication as well. Some people, I'll, t I'll extend that a little further, at further and mention obsession. Some people are obsessed with people. 
Now that it's not healthy, it is never healthy to be obsessed with someone. Some people call it love, but there is a clear difference between being in love with someone or loving someone and being obsessed with someone. And obsession is not healthy. I don't want to go into an obsession. Everybody knows how should know how people behave when they are obsessed with someone. And so when you have an obsession with someone, when that person is no longer in your life, you can do just about anything. Some people, I mentioned it earlier, they want to commit suicide. They stalk people when they're obsessed with them not knowing that it is it is a spirit it is a demonic spirit why you are obsessed with with anyone at all an obsession is by no means healthy so we have to be careful we have to if you recognize any of these things in your life you can get rid of these spirits uh, that cause you to behave in that manner amen you can get rid of these spirits now the way that you are going to free yourself from these spirits is by first renouncing. You have to renounce every, every act that you did that caused these spirits to have entered your life. Now I mentioned a number of things through the gift, through fornication, through through vows or covenants made. So whatever it is you can think of that may have caused, you know, you to have a soul tie spirit, you can, your first thing you're going to do is renounce. I also forgot to mention a way, and one way that you can know that you have, apart from things that I've mentioned like obsession, uh, unforgiveness, those things, a way that you can know that you have soul tie spirit in your life as i said you get involved with someone else and no matter what it's not it's just not working you find yourself cannot cannot just forget about that person you cannot let them go you cannot move on emotionally you're still connected with them you always want to reach out to that person to find out what's going on with them years go by you cannot let go of that gift you keep holding on to it you keep having dreams you keep having dreams about that person that is the number one way it's not healthy those dreams are not godly i promise you they are coming from demonic spirits and so if you see those things happening it is very clear you have been connected to that person through there's a soul tie spirit operating in your life as a result of that connection that you had with that person amen so yes you're going to renounce any act that you did and you're going to of course repent if you know it was fornication whatever you did that you know was wrong you repent of it you repent of it if you're holding on to gifts that you got from that person destroy them you have to separate yourself from it whatever it is that causes it destroy those gifts if it's dreams that you're having you're going to openly use your mouth to separate yourself you say I separate myself from every demonic spirit from every soul tie spirit that that enters my dreams whatever way it is that this thing is manifesting that is what you're going to do you know you're going to speak the word over it say i break every covenant that i made with any spirit with any demonic soul tie spirit every covenant you break it in the name of jesus christ you say that from your mouth and you will see results but you cannot hold on to those items or whatever it is it could be a, we a wedding band it could be a wedding band go sell it at the pawn shop get rid of it there are people whose spouses or partners or that friend they have died they're gone and you're still holding on to them you still have this deep i know 
when someone passes naturally we miss them when a loved one passes but there comes a time there's a time for mourning and there is also a time to stop mourning so you cannot be mourning for years you need to let go of that person when they die because all that's going to happen is a demonic spirit will enter your life to try to replace that person in your life to try to make you feel like you know you, you don't need to miss them so much i'm here so that's what they're there they come into your life and they take take that person's place in the realms of the spirit but then you find out you cannot get married again or if you get married it's just not working because that spirit is there that spirit is blocking everything and so the relationship or the friendship they just don't work and they won't work until you separate yourself from that you have to renounce that and cut all ties with that person amen i hope that i made a little sense to someone and i truly i pray that you will be free from these soul tied spirits i hope that your eyes were opened and whoever didn't understand or knew about these things i hope that you know now and you'll be able to identify if you have any demonic soul tied spirits attached to your life because they are by no means healthy and you need to get rid of them in order in order to walk in the promises that god has for your life amen now i hope that you were blessed and i'll catch you in the next video bye